These are the top four beginner certifications for cybersecurity analysts. The first one on this list is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate on Coursera. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this certificate many times, and I've actually made dedicated reviews on this program, but essentially it is a beginner cybersecurity program that is made specifically for anyone who doesn't have any previous experience in cybersecurity, in tech, in IT. You can come in here as a complete beginner and it'll essentially give you all of the cybersecurity foundations that you'll need, plus hands-on labs, learning Python. This certificate can be completed in six months at seven hours per week, of course, you can finish it much faster because you can learn at your own pace. In the program, you'll cover cybersecurity best practices, how to protect networks, devices, people, and data from unauthorized access, get hands-on using an SIEM tool, learn how to identify common risks, threats, and vulnerabilities, as well as how to mitigate them, and then finally, experience using Python, Linux, and SQL. This is the beginner certificate that I usually recommend the most for people who are just starting out because of the fact that it covers the foundational cybersecurity concepts, but it also gets hands-on with cybersecurity labs and technical skills, but it's also very beginner-friendly so that even if you don't come from a tech background, you'll still be able to complete this course and be able to get a lot out of it. And because the certificate is created by Google, hosted on Coursera, you also get access to their career resources. Once you complete the professional certificate, including resume reviews, mock interviews, helping you improve your LinkedIn with personalized feedback, you'll also get access to 150 organizations that are hiring directly from this program in Google's employer consortium. And not to mention that the Google professional certificate is a relatively low cost resource compared to other certificates or boot camps. And Coursera offers a seven day free trial and then $49 per month while you're completing the certificate. And I also know a lot of learners who complete this certificate in just one or two months or less. So you can really get a good deal if you complete this program faster than in the six months that they recommend. I'll have a link to start a seven day free trial of the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate linked in my description below. So I kind of consider this as the entry point for anyone who is just getting started in cybersecurity. And here's another reason why I think that you should get this certificate before you get your CompTIA Security Plus. So the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate also provides you a discount to your Security Plus exam. So if you're gonna do both anyway, which a lot of people typically take both hand in hand and then start applying for entry-level cybersecurity roles, but because the Google Professional Certificate provides a discount for your CompTIA Security Plus, it just makes sense to do this one first, and it also covers foundations and the topics that you'll be studying anyway for your Security Plus, so it really is a two-in-one. You get to learn the resources that are on your Security Plus and study for it hand-in-hand, -hand, and you also get a discount when you complete the certificate program and then go on to study and pass your CompTIA Security Plus, which also happens to be the second certification on this list. By the way, I created a free cybersecurity beginner career roadmap for anyone who's getting started in cybersecurity. I'll have it linked in my description. It is perfect for anyone who doesn't know where to start in cybersecurity, doesn't know what path they should take. Maybe you're looking for cybersecurity resources or figuring out the cybersecurity career path or certification path that works best for you. I have that all compiled into one beginner cybersecurity career roadmap that you can also find linked in my description. Thank you again to Keeper for sponsoring today's video. We have a million devices these days from VR headsets to our gaming systems, tablets, phones, and laptop. And we all know how frustrating it can be to jump through hoops to get all of our accounts set up on all of them. That's why I've removed the stress of remembering and entering passwords with Keeper Password Manager, the sponsor of today's video. I've been a longtime Keeper user and here's why. Keeper is the most secure, certified, tested, and audited password security platform in the world and I can rest easy knowing that my accounts are protected with full zero trust and zero knowledge security. It works on every platform and every device and Keeper supports passkeys too. Plus you can easily share logins with friends, family, using their hyper secure sharing capabilities. Amp up your online security with strong and unique passwords for every account and make your life easier with cross-platform functionality for every device. Right now, my audience can get a huge 50% off discount with code with Sandra or give it a test run with a free 30 day trial. You'll find a link in my description below. So, the CompTIA Security Plus is the certification that I think every cybersecurity professional should take. While the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is great for someone who is, you know, just starting out, the CompTIA Security Plus can be taken by someone who may already be one or two years in their career, which was actually when I took it. So, I was in my cybersecurity job for about one year before I took this exam. And at the time, I was lucky enough to have my employer still hire me even without my Security Plus. But nowadays, whenever I'm looking through a cybersecurity entry-level role or even non-entry-level roles, ones that are looking for one to three years of experience, they very often have the requirement of having your CompTIA Security Plus at least as a certification on your resume. So this is not only one of the most popular cybersecurity certifications for beginners, but it's also a certification that HR loves. And nowadays that is really important because when you're applying jobs online, chances are your resume isn't going to get put in front of a recruiter until it passes through some kind of filter. And that filter is usually automated. It usually is looking for keywords. It is looking through your resume, seeing if you have any skills that match the job listing, seeing if you have any certifications, any, any past experience. And basically you're trying your best to get your resume in front of the recruiter so that you can at least get to that first round interview. And the CompTIA Security Plus is just a certification for that. By the way, if you're looking to work on your resume, I actually have a recent video that I made on creating a cybersecurity resume from scratch. And I'll link that down in my description as well. And if you're someone who is interested in cybersecurity, you've probably already heard of the CompTIA Security Plus. It is likely the most popular cybersecurity certification for beginners. And you don't need any previous cybersecurity 
security experience to take the certification. In fact, I know college students, bootcamp students who have studied and prepared for their CompTIA Security Plus themselves and have been able to pass it and then go straight into their entry level jobs as a junior SOC analyst or a junior security analyst. It's basically a core beginner certification and I have videos and resources on my channel that go over how I studied and passed my CompTIA Security Plus. Also comparing the new 701 version to the old 601 version, which also means this is a great time to take it if you still want to get certified before the 601 version retires. But the Security Plus covers general cybersecurity topics, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, security operations, security architecture, and managing a security program. This certification is very much breadth over depth, so you're going to be covering a lot of different topics. What I would recommend using is the exam objectives from CompTIA's official website, and they basically will tell you every topic that is on the list, and I believe there are around three to 400 topics. So this is definitely a generalist certification. It covers very broadly almost every topic in cybersecurity that you'll probably hear of as a beginner, but only about an inch deep. So you're not going to be learning the whole background and history of cryptography, but you'll definitely learn about cryptographic algorithms, hashing, asymmetric versus symmetric encryption. The exam itself is 90 minutes long and you need a 750 out of 900 to pass. It has up to 90 questions as well as performance-based questions. But there's also free resources like Professor Messer. There's low cost resources like the CompTIA Security Plus all-in-one textbook, which is one that I use. And even though I'm not a huge textbook person, personally, I think it really helped to have everything in one book. And I read that book cover to cover and it helps me pass my exam. So that is one that I recommend. I'll also link that down in my description. And the exam fee is currently $392. I'll link all the resources and material on how I was able to study as well as my timelines and when I knew I was ready to take the exam in my description. So, so hopefully that can help anyone who is currently studying for their Security Plus. But if you learned one thing from this video, it really is just to take your Security Plus. Um, I know there's people who don't like the Security Plus. They think it's not that relevant or they think that the material is very high level. It's multiple choice. Yes. Again, it's the HR factor that I think is the most important. This is what's going to get you to that first round interview. It's what's going to get the recruiter to even pass your resume onto the hiring manager to review for them to even consider your application. And it really comes down to that industry recognition, even over the skills that you've learned, because I know of other certifications, and I'm sure you do too, of beginner certs that cover material better than Security Plus or more niche certifications if you want to go into Red Team or Blue Team. The Security Plus is just a very general popular certification with HR, and that is something that other certifications just may not have yet. So I know the Security Plus has haters, but I also think it's still one of the most important certifications that can help your career. And this is also what got me my second job in cybersecurity, even though I came from a software engineering background and worked in a cybersecurity rotational program. All right, the next one on this list is the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification. So this is a relatively new certification created by Hack the Box, which is a very popular offensive security platform for beginners. But this certification is specifically made for SOC analysts, defensive security analysts, anyone who's interested in going into the blue team side of cybersecurity. This is actually a certification that I've gone through and the material is definitely very in-depth. There are hands-on labs, module quizzes, and they go very in-depth into this training. This is also great for anyone who's interested in incident response, digital forensics, or even IT admin and pen testing. Because the material that's covered is primarily blue team, but can also benefit you from an offensive security point of view, specifically on the tools that you're using, operating system basics, including Linux and Windows. And the best part is the fact that all of your labs are done from their pawn box. This is basically an in-browser VM, which also means that you don't need any setup on your end to complete the certification. You'll be covering SOC processes, SIEMs, log analysis, threat hunting, tactical analytics, active directory attacks, network traffic analysis, malware analysis. After you complete all the modules in the SOC job path role, you'll then be able to take the official exam, which is hands-on and not multiple choice. On the exam, you'll be able to perform actual security analysis, SOC operations, and test out your incident handling skills. So there are multiple pricing options for the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification. One of the ways is to sign up for their silver annual subscription. Another way is to sign up for their student subscription and then buy the exam voucher separately, which the exam voucher itself costs $210 and that includes two exam attempts. And then pricing option number three is to purchase the SOC analyst career path modules only plus the exam voucher. What I will say though is the fact that this certification is definitely not as beginner as the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. It's more so on the intermediate side and it will definitely be helpful if you did have some cybersecurity background or tech background. I do think this would be a great place to stack certifications if you decide to start from the Google Cybersecurity Cert, take your Security Plus, and then if you're specifically interested in Blue Team or Defensive Security, then taking the CDSA certification would be a great path. And of course, I'll have the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certificate linked in my description for you to learn more and see if it's a good fit for you. All right, the next certification on this list is actually another CompTIA certification, and that is the CYSA Plus certification or the Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. As you can see, based on this list, I kind of tried to find a balance between certifications that HR likes and, and certifications that will really teach you the skills that you'll need for the job. And that is definitely a very fine line. I would highly recommend having one of each so that so at least you'll be able to get past the automated resume review software and get your resume in front of a real person, but you'll also have these hands-on certifications that you've done so that you have labs and stuff to put on your resume. Specifically,
specifically technical labs and projects. As I was planning this video, I actually looked through multiple job listings for a cybersecurity analyst role. And specifically, I was trying to look for certifications that companies wanted outside of the Security Plus. So the CYSA Plus is basically a step up from the CompTIA Security Plus. The recommended experience for this is four years. But again, most, if not all of CompTIA certifications don't require you to have any years of experience. They only have recommended experience, but it definitely is a step up compared to the CompTIA Security Plus, which is more entry level than the CYSA Plus. The CYSA Plus specifically focuses on incident detection, prevention, and response through continuous security monitoring. This includes using tools like SIEMs, threat intelligence, endpoint detection and response, or EDRs. You'll also be covering how to respond to threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities, which goes a step further than just learning about them in the Security Plus. So even though I would still recommend the Security Plus over the CYSA Plus, I have seen job listings that they're looking for the SYSA Plus certification. So I wanted to at least include that on this list in case it's one that you're considering. I would still say Security Plus is a better option for entry level. The CYSA Plus certification is 165 minutes with a maximum of 85 questions with multiple choice and performance based, and you need a score of a 750 out of 900 to pass. The exam fee is $392 per exam attempt, which also happens to be the same cost as the CompTIA Security Plus. All right, so lastly, I do want to mention two final runner ups on this list, and that is the CCNA or the Cisco Certified Network Associate, as well as the GIAC GSEC certification, which is the GIAC Security Essential certification. So just briefly on the CCNA, this is definitely a more so IT focused certification, but it is also very popular if you're interested in going into network security or any security role that requires you to have networking fundamentals. So if you know that network security is an area that you're interested in, then the CCNA is one of the most popular certifications in networking. And then going to the GIAC GSEC certification. This one is another beginner level cybersecurity certification, but is definitely more on the pricey side. Since our training courses for the exam itself are pretty pricey, but technically there aren't any prerequisites to take the GIAC GSEC certification, which is another reason why I recommend the CompTIA Security Plus over any beginner GIAC certifications. But of course, knowing all of your options and seeing what certifications are out there is a great way to shop around and see what makes the most sense for you. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if there are any other certifications that you might add to this list or any that you don't think are that relevant on this list. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you again to Keeper for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in starting 2024 right with a password manager, don't forget you can get 50% off of Keeper using my code with Sandra at keeper.io slash with Sandra. And you can also give it a test run with a 30 day free trial using the link in my description. Thank you guys again so much for watching and if this video was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. Let me know if there are any other video topics you would like to see from me or any reviews for programs or bootcamps. I would be happy to look into them for you. One of my favorite parts is comparing certifications and bootcamps and different courses out there. So definitely let me know in the comments. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.